when you breastfeed, like I said, um, some things I said, I, and I, I also jumped out from that. When you breastfeed, it's possible that your hormone might be so high. And you know when your hormone is not so high, you might not be having um, enough liquid. You know what I'm talking about? You might not be so wet to have that sex at that moment. Your husband also should also help out. I'm just gonna say it. Hello, my amazing family. How are you doing? Hope you're doing beautiful today. And I can see that. <laughs> I already have seen that. Don't mind like you're just looking. Is it possible for me to be saying what is going on around you? It's just by the spirit, okay? So let's just delve into what we're going to be having today. So today is another breastfeeding series. And today we're going to be talking about breastfeeding and how it affects the sexual mood of our women. <laughs> and please... While you are learning, these are for adults. What are we learning here is for adults. Okay, you're going to understand more when we go into it. So you know that, you know your age category while you're watching. And if this is your first time of joining us, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit on the bell, that bell reminds you that we already have new content. Do those stuff, like our videos, and also like this very one, please. Because what we do here is about motherhood. Women stop, marriage, just hit, just hit into whatever video you want to watch. And see what we do if this is just what you love and uh, share to loved ones and family so we're gonna get right back to you as we continue our series today then we're gonna be asking do breastfeeding affects the intimacy of our women does it affect the intimacy of our women we all know that this is the body and it's not something that you like oh my god i don't know is this normal it's normal it's not you that did it that's just how god created i would not want to be talking about how we came about this in the stage that we are why we started procreating children and the story of those stuff because if you're a biblical person you should know that um, the story started from somewhere when god drove adam and Eve out from the garden and said that you're going to procreate okay they should go out and procreate so let's just start from there why i'm trying to do this for us is just because some people are like oh my god why is she talking about sexual no please let me just close my ears you're going to get into it in future or if you're still of that age category that you're not up to what we are dealing on today in the future we're going to get into that stage that is the prayer of everybody okay every man and a woman there are some that don't want to have kids but let's just leave that aside so this is just all about that um this this video is for breastfeeding mothers and also for those that are you know future will be experiencing something of this stuff so how does breastfeeding affect the sexual intimacy of a woman first of all what i said here and the reason why i was describing those stuff was just to let you know when i say sexual it's not something that is normal everybody must go through this everybody i see everyone i'm talking about are those of you know they already have reached that category of age that you know that you already have grown you have age now like you get married one day you're gonna have kids so this are the age category that these videos are all about okay people that have started learning from the age of 17 18 okay so that in future they can know all this stuff okay so how does it affect the sexual intimacy of our women we all know health is one of the uh, sexual intimacy of a woman and definitely while you breastfeed you must have this body contact of you know you should, you, you should have this closeness of your child breastfeeding and this breath is from your body it's one of like i said it's one of the sensitive parts of a woman and apart from your uh, your baby sucking your husband who also okay have that closeness of doing that with you and when that occurs you should know that you should you will feel this you know this urge for you know those stuff you will have this turn on yeah you have this turn on so it is with the baby when the baby breastfeed the mother must definitely have turned on i don't know how many of us really i know i know that's please that's why we are sensitizing people more about this that some they don't just want to disclose it to people like i said um people look at this video like this very particular one breastfeeding and sexuality why should bring this up this very particular topic that has to do with sex or whatever of those stuff people tend to close you know their ears and eyes i don't want to learn and this is just what destroys the, the the world okay it's just what destroyed the world the reason why it destroys the world that if you don't learn early about what we're dealing on this um you know just let's just not talk about breast feeding for this time look now now let's talk about the sexual part so if you close your ears and close your eyes you don't want to learn about this stuff 
it's just going to look like a sunny thing to you than what you are treating here, okay? So when you get into that extent, it should not look like something that is strange to you. Some they just want to keep it to themselves. They are trying to hide themselves. Is it normal that you're breastfeeding your baby and you're feeling this intimacy touch? You're feeling this um tone or you feel like you're feeling tone on while you're breastfeeding. Remember, like I said, the breast itself is a sensitive part of a woman. When you touch the breast, your husband touch your breast, okay, um, the baby touch your breast. It's the same thing because as the baby is talking, you feel it. Okay, so but when you breastfeed, it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, you have to, you know, cut your husband's your husband away or your husband's away. We women, you should not cut uh, your husband's away when you breastfeed. I know it's so much of a toy when you just had your baby, and the next thing is breastfeeding, staying up all night breastfeeding your baby, and your husband is just coming around and asking for that. You must definitely feel this turn on and. Who are you supposed to be relying on your husband? I know that while I was going to in depth into this topic and um, when I was doing some kind of research, they were talking about incest. We already know what incest means. Incest is when you start having um, a close sex relationship with your your relation, like your blood relation, okay? So some, some I know that some really, because like I said before, some don't want to talk about this because maybe they fall into this kind of category. You should be mindful, you should be conscious of yourself. Like when you're breastfeeding your baby and your husband is not there, because as you breastfeed, you'll be feeling your, I will say most of these words, because when it comes to sex, some of these words will have to fall in because this is just what um, combines part of sex, okay? So when you're breastfeeding, you'll be feeling your clitoris, you'll be, you know, like, there's this kind of touch you will feel, okay? So um, when that kind of situation comes, it's not something you should just keep to yourself. You should discuss with your um, with your doctor, um, people that are into um, gynecologists, talk about this to your prenatal, your prenatal care where you had your baby, the, mater the maternal care where you had your baby. Talk to them about this. People that are into the stuff, um, into the um, stuff that has to do with sex. Talk to them about it. They will tell you how to condition yourself. When that very situation comes, you should be able to hold yourself when your husband comes around. Just devote yourself together. So it's not something that you should just keep to yourself or hide because by the time you hide it away from yourself, you will harm yourself rather than helping yourself. It's just better you disclose what you're passing through rather than keep it to yourself. So it's normal. That's why I asked the question. I said, does, is, it, is it normal for a breastfeeding mother to feel turned on when they breastfeed? It's possible. Turn on, I mean, when they feel this urge for sex, they will feel it. Why? Because this breast is part of the body that, you know, it's one of the intimate parts of a woman. One of those things that you can do for, to a woman and she'll start feeling this urge for sex, okay? So when that uh, mood comes, not something that you should keep to yourself. So they feel it too, just like when... They are not breastfeeding, okay? When there's some mothers, they know because there are some that have this high for high sex drive. There are some women that have sex, high sex drive. Any little thing you do to their body, if you touch their body or skin, they're already feeling this urge for sex. If you any little thing you do, so those kind of mothers don't even want to go into breastfeeding at all because they know what to result, okay? So it's not something that you should like not. Just like you're punishing your baby when you have a baby, just because you're having um, this high sex drive, you don't want to breastfeed. You should just talk to your talk to your doctor, talk to them, try to you know disclose what your problem is. Like because I said, mother, it's not what you can go through all alone. You need um, guidance. You need um, you know somebody that, that you can talk to. Like I'm talking about those that are into this stuff in the hospital. Talk to them. Those that are into it. Okay. Search the internet. Do some research and ask if it's normal. Okay. But what I'm saying here, right here in this video, is normal. Okay. And it's not something you should just stop because we're having high sex drive. Little thing you feel this sex or little thing you feel, and when your baby is pressing, you know what that's the result. Okay. So. You should not stop breastfeeding your baby at the moment or something don't even want to breastfeed at all. So it's not something you should just, you know, like cut off your baby, not to receive that, you know, um, baby, um, you know, to a mother. Because when you breastfeed, your, your baby should we have this closeness. You remember that when you just had your baby, like when you, when you just deliver your baby, you want to take the baby to your breast. You want them to quickly adapt to breast, breast to the breast that when you're breastfeeding them, they can easily adapt to understand. So when you just have the baby, remember that what yes, yes, you should know that when you just had your baby, they we they mostly women mostly put the baby um you know mouth in the breast. Even if at all they don't suck anything, just for them to learn it, they, their mouth will be strong enough. So you can imagine when you don't do that at all, it's just like you're punishing the baby. So not because of this problem of this um high sex drive, you shouldn't do that at all. That's why I said that this is a very big um how do I say it's big challenge to some women. 
they don't want to disclose what something of this stuff to people they feel like it's not normal so it's normal i'm saying right here in this video yeah it's normal and you need some professionals yes professionals to talk to people that supervises this stuff of this situation okay and you also know also that like I said, um, as I was discussing, I talked about and I jumped out that you should not um, you know, keep your husband out when you feel like, because we know that when you breastfeed, it's quite different when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, your hormone will be so high because also you have your hormone and the baby also adding to your, your hormone high. So when you start breastfeeding, it's just like your hormone start going low. That's some women, they don't feel this um, sex. They don't have this mood for sex. And also, when you're experiencing leakage, leakage means when, you know, when you breastfeed, because this video is all about breastfeeding and sexual intimacy of a woman. When you are having sexual or love making, or love, you're making love to your husband, and at the same time, your is dropping, you should use towel. It's not something that should be much of a problem, okay? You should use the towel or whatever that you can use just to, you know, prevent the breast make not so, I know, um, you know, feel all over the bed or whatever places that you are debugging yourself together in, all right? So it's not uh, a big problem because some people, they find it so comfortable because even this topic that we're even treating about itself, that a whole lot of people, they're like, no, I can't do this. Like, I'm breastfeeding, I'm thinking about my husband having sexual, you know, uh, closeness with him or intimacy with him. No, this is not, that's not just me. I don't just, just think I can do that. Why? Because it's a big problem for them. Like I discussed, um, they feel how it's going to look like the breasts keep pouring. So, like, <laughs> love making itself. I don't think it takes more than five minutes. Uh, you know, five minutes um, for when you're breastfeeding. And uh, after breastfeeding, when you break, when you stop breastfeeding, you can go up doing whatever you do, your foreplay, and for now start going deep into whatever you do. But you know, when you breastfeed, the breast milk will definitely be dropping. So I feel breast um, having sex at that moment shouldn't take more than five minutes or two minutes. I don't know. It's just judging by different uh, people's um, way of or minutes or time they spend in having sex. So. You know, it's just something to just quickly rush and do. Why? Because at that moment you're feeling hot, you know. So it's not much of a problem if that's just the reason why you're thinking about, you know, having a problem. Like it's a problem of, of you having this close intimacy with your husband because the breast milk is going to be pouring. So it's not much of a problem. That's just what also I have to add here. Like I said, use a towel. You should be close to your husband because because you're breastfeeding. Uh, it shouldn't make you, you know. Uh, be um, you know far away from him. It's just the time that you have to also uh, you know help yourself, which this video is all about. If you feel this urge or you feel arousal, you know you have to follow your husband to be able to satisfy you to do um, whatever you have to do. So it's not a big problem, okay? At all times, sometimes just because they are tired, they stay all night. Sometimes, and there's some husband also that will not, I not even understand what the, um, the um, their wives are going through, okay? So if you don't have um, sex drive when you breastfeed, it's normal also, why? Because, like I said, probably, most probably because we all know that you have to wake up late night, take care of the baby, and also, you know, giving that extra care to your husband by with you intimacy, having intimacy, uh, sex intimacy with your husband is going to be a big challenge to you. So you should also discuss with professional people that are into this. Okay, we all know that you know breastfeeding is something that um, every um, children should have. It's not something that we should just keep them out from just because of um, this stuff, okay? So also, also, I have to say here that when you breastfeed, like I said, um, some things I said, I, and I, I also jumped out from that, when you breastfeed, it's possible that your hormone might not be so high. And you know when your hormone is not so high, you might not be having um, enough liquid. You know what I'm talking about? You might not be so wet to have that sex at that moment. Your husband also should also help out. You should also get uh, most of this. There's some pharmacy. You can get um, this jelly, K jelly, that also have to help to enhance you both for sex. Okay? <laughs> like I said when I started, it's not us that are formed it. That's just how it works. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed it today. And also, please, any questions, I'm just trying to leave my head. There's anything I did add here. Don't forget to leave everything there in the comment section. And also, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, because when you subscribe, you learn most of these things and hit on the bell so you're reminded to know we have new content. You will be aware of it and share it so that other people can also come across this video and also learn from it too. So I hope you enjoyed it today. We're gonna meet on our next one. See you guys. Never finish what I've started.